Mr. Mr. Hyde, <laughs> oh. thanks for your time, thanks for your help. Uh, I know that Lithuania, I, mean, I think, one of the most active in supporting of Ukraine, and especially in culture. Today, in this panel in Davos, in Ukraine, there was a question at the beginning there. Yeah. Why we speak about culture during the war? Why we, we should fund off culture? But I think that even the most important, that during the war we think about such kind of things. What do you think about culture generally now? and about the possible cooperation between Lithuania and Ukraine in, in this not so easier and uh, effective. Yeah, I think the, the culture is such a thing that keeps you alive. And it doesn't matter, you are attacked, uh, you have uh, some bad periods in your country, uh, but culture is the key role uh, to solve all this problem. Mm -hmm. And in another case, culture in one hand can be a target, mm -hmm as Russia name it, because they want to destroy not yeah. just uh, territory, not just your country, but even uh, even the culture, culture and yeah. identity, yeah. Uh, in another case, uh, culture is a good way to respond. Mm -hmm. And from my point of view, as a minister of culture, it's very important um, to share the stage with Ukrainians all over the Europe, mm -hmm. or all over the world. Promotion. Uh, because, uh, and also Ukraine must um, send uh, the artists uh, on abroad, especially uh, in this situation, mm -hmm. because I, I see an experience that uh, uh, every performing, um, every concert, um, uh, every, I don't know, exhibition abroad um, by Ukrainian artists is a life statement, the country is alive, mm -hmm. that country is fighting, and that Ukraine will win this war. And my last question concerning the relations and what kind of pro um, projects you have between Lithuanian and the Ukrainian artists, I don't know, maybe special program, special uh, convention. No, we, uh, we have such good examples of cooperation. Of cooperation uh, first of all, when we are talking about Ukrainians, refugees in Lithuania. Space yeah, yeah uh, so uh, we have um, mechanisms how to help for all people from Ukraine, but yeah. talking about culture people, we have special grants program, the individual grants program for three months, just uh, such people uh, can continue the work in the cultural field. Uh, they can be more involved in the networking through Lithuania with other countries, with our institutions. So I think it's a very good way and I see very great results uh, with this very small tool. Uh, another example is, for example, Kharkiv uh, Opera and Ballet Theater. and. Uh, we are waiting next month uh, the, the second um, uh, visit of them and they are going to various uh, cities of Lithuania given, given, uh, uh, given a program and uh, they are more than 200 people in, in one place so it's not easy to uh, manage it but, but uh, the effect is, uh, is, is, um, is great and uh, of course a lot of uh, cooperation in international field starting from the UNESCO formats, uh, finishing with the uh, Brussels corridors. And together with Mr. Oleksandr Tkachenko, my good friend and um, Minister for Culture of Ukraine, uh, we did a lot of things, uh, starting in cooperation between uh, artists, uh, finishing with, uh, for example, uh, blocking the uh, Russian TV channels all over the European Union so countries. Step. Yeah, it's a very important step, very mentally uh, icebreaker. Yeah, rush, but, but we have uh, about uh, 10 channels now at the list uh, because 6th package of sanctions, the uh, ninth bank and, uh, package of sanctions um, uh, was the you know, leadership uh, uh, of Lithuania, Baltic countries together with Ukraine to pay attention that culture is also a weapon. Uh, information is also a weapon and uh, uh, the aggressor uh, um, always at the beginning, try to poisoning our minds, yeah. and then he come with his dirty shoes and with the gun to our territory. So it's it's very important uh, to stop this disinformation, to uh, pay attention of people all over the Europe, uh, because they always are being going on about the freedom of speech, uh, freedom of media, but uh, it, it's impossible to speak that uh, any kind of value. Uh, it's impossible that this value could be based on a lie. So begin from that. And I think it's a good moment for a lot of years. Uh, we spent very lazy with the discussions and understanding about these values. 
just check to the reality. It's the very good moment. Just check to the reality how how it looks today. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your support. And I think we will meet in. Of course.